Hey there. This is the fourth in a series of videos on discrete functions. This one is geometric series. Okay, so as always, to follow along with this lesson, you're going to need the course pack page that says geometric series. Um, so please go ahead and get that. Okay, so a series uh, is the sum of the terms of a sequence. So we saw that already with arithmetic series. So a geometric, a, let's get rid of that in, a geometric series is the sum of the terms of a geometric sequence. Let's look at this geometric series. 1, 3, 9, 27, 81, it would be the sequence. The series that corresponds to it would be all those terms added together. Okay, and again, just like with arithmetic, S5 means the sum of the first five terms. So, once again, here they're deriving a formula for the sum um, of the series, but now it's geometric. And they just, they write out all the terms, and then they do something neat. They uh, divide the right side by R, and, uh, and bring the R over to the other side, and then they do a bunch of manipulation. They end up with this. Okay, and that's the formula that we're going to be using. All right, Sn equals A times R to the N minus 1 over R minus 1. So let's look at example 1. Find the sum of the first nine terms of the geometric series, and there's the geometric series. So we're going to need to know a couple things. We need to know A. A is 2. And R. How are we going to calculate R? Well, R is just what you get when you divide each term by the term before it. So 6 divided by 2, it means uh, you're going to end up dividing by 3 to get from 6 to 2. And divide by 3, and divide by 3. So our R is equal to 3. And they asked for the first 9 terms, so that means N equals 9. Okay, we write the formula first. Get used to writing this formula. A times R to the N minus 1 over R minus 1, and then S 9 is what they're asking for, so we're going to plug in 2 times 3 to the 9 minus 1 over 3 minus 1. Okay, so go ahead and plug that into the calculator and see what you get. Okay, so I've put it into my calculator and I got 19,682, and that would be the sum of the first 9 terms. Okay, so now, um, let's look at example two. Find the sum of the first 14 terms, and some of them are, this one's a little easy, but the next one you have to think about a little bit. So why don't you pause the video and try to do this. Remember, to use the formula, you need to know the A, you need to calculate the R, and you need N. So we have that in both cases. So I'm going to uh, work on this on the side. You pause and come back to me when you're done and check your answer. Okay, so hopefully you got the same answers that I got. So first one I got 81,915. I want to point out that we always write the formula first. And um, once again to remind you that there will be communication marks uh, lost if you don't write the formula first. And the reason we do that is just to make sure that if you don't get the right answer so that I, I'm understanding whether you just didn't know the formula or whether you knew the formula but you put the wrong values into it or you put the right values into it, but then it was a calculation error. So it's always good form to write the formula first. So a word about B. So B is a little harder to calculate the R. This one is kind of obvious, but this one's a little harder. And just remember how to do it. You just take any term. So I'll take negative 50 so that the sign goes with the term. So R is going to equal to negative 50 divided by the term before it. Um, and that would be negative one-half. And I'm working with decimals in this question only because the question was given with decimals. But in this course, as you know, decimals are only allowed for word problems. Uh, and we try to keep everything in fractions as much as we can. So if your sequence has decimals, go ahead and use decimals. Otherwise, it's expected that it's going to be fractions. Um, and then the last thing to say is that Something like this, when you put all the numbers in, um, 
is a little tricky sometimes to put in the calculator. You really have to be aware of the order of operations and the brackets. So um, what I did is I put negative 0.5 in brackets and raised it to the exponent 14 and then subtracted 1, got that answer, multiplied it by 100. Then I divided it by this denominator in brackets. So the bracketing is going to make it so that um, you're not dividing just a piece of the expression. You're actually dividing correctly. Um, so like this. Okay, so be careful in your calculator. And hopefully you get the same thing as me. Why do we get so many decimal places? Well, as we get more and more terms here, we're going to get more and more decimals. We're just going to be chopping these numbers and going to get more decimal places. And so in this one, um, I just rounded it uh, to a bunch of decimal places. Okay, um, example three. So example three is similar, similar to uh, examples that we've seen before, where they ask you for the sum of the series, but we don't know how many. So what, what do we do? We do the same thing we did for arithmetic sequences and geometric sequences. We have to calculate the n so that we can put it into the sn formula. So um, for this one over here, we're going to use the general term for geometric sequences. Tn equals ar to the n minus 1. We know a. We can figure out r. We don't know n. So we say that this last term, we'll call it Tn. And now we have to figure out what the n is. So Tn goes in. A is 5. R is 4 to the exponent n minus 1. Okay, go ahead and solve for n. How do we do that? Let's think. Can we multiply 5 times 4? Absolutely not, because the 4 is raised to an exponent. So what we must do is divide both sides by 5. So 2, 0, 4, 8, 0, divided by 5, 4, 0, 9, 6. And isn't that convenient? Because 4, 0, 9, 6 just happens to be a power of 4. So go ahead, use your trial and error, and figure out 4 to the what is 4096. And it turns out to be 4 to the 6 is 4096. So we have 4 to the 6 is 4 to the n minus 1, which means 6 equals n minus 1. Therefore, n equals 7. Now that we know how many terms are in the series, we can now use the sum of the series formula to figure out the sum. So, Sn, right away, you have to always write the formula first. And once you have the formula written, you can calculate the sum of the first seven terms. So, go ahead and pause the video while you calculate um, the sum of the first seven terms and come back and check with me. Okay, and the final answer from the calculator is 27,305. Okay, and that is the last example for geometric series. So uh, please review this sheet, come back to class tomorrow, and we'll do uh, homework practice, and you get to ask all your questions. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.